Finding a missing police officer there will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm looking at the map of this place and it's huge. There's no way you can investigate without being noticed. Street vultures are the biggest gang in Detroit. I have a large supply of bullets. Blood trail visible on the ground. I will follow it. That's what I figured.
Look out! It's Robocop! I'm a machine! I've been hit! Shot me! I am looking for a police officer. Hey, I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. He was brought here. There is always so much happening around here. I tend to focus on my work. I wouldn't remember. Would you like me to refresh your memory? No. Police officer, I get you. You're right. Not long ago, they brought him here. He was already in real bad shape. I kind of felt for the guy. Where is he? Once he got back on his feet, they took him away. But I don't know where. I'm telling the truth. I only deal with numbers. If you need any more info on your friend, try the warehouse office. It's on the west side of the mill. Do not move until I return. No problem. If anyone finds me cuffed up here, I will look as tough as the others. Are you ready to come back to the precinct? Negative. A wounded officer, perhaps Briggs, was moved to another location. 
I have a thug's testimony. Proceeding to the enemy command center. How can you be sure that he's not leading you into a lion's den? I am hoping for it. You're hopeless. That whole area is out of police jurisdiction. And according to the new policy, if we wanted to legally be there, we'd need to go through an OCP executive. And I'm sure you know what Becker's standpoint is. I believe I do. I'm starting to understand why he hired me. You're a handful.
I knocked his fucking tooth out. Well, cop, now we know you won't be leaving here in one piece. You won't either. Hey, you're spoiling my mood again. 
I don't like it when cops <laughs> wander around. <laughs> cops mean trouble. And trouble upsets me. So really, this is your fault. Do whatever you want. But soon the cops no. will... No. No cop of any kind is going to show up here anymore. The police officially won't be responding to any calls from this area. Does this mean we have a deal? As long as you can work quietly. We're vultures. You need carrying. We're up to the job, no worries. And as for your toy... Would you like to join us? A fine offer. Sealing our contract in blood. But I prefer cleaner games. How about instead we do some hunting? Could add a bit of cheer. Spice things up a bit. And I know just the right place for it. How does it feel? No, and we're going to take you to the quarry and shoot your ass to pieces. And the police ain't going to do shit about it. I bet it really pisses. Charts. What happened? I found a tape of Briggs being tortured. Their boss, Spike, was in on it, together with Wendell Antonowski. Did you say he was tortured? Yes, surrounded, with no way out and no backup. That sounds so messed up. They used him as prey. They mentioned a quarry. Uh, did, did you say quarry? Okay, let me, let me have a look. Yeah, I see it. It's just north of your position. On my way. Robocop, I really hope you find him.
vultures attack! will be scattered in the vast nothingness of space, floating forever. So even I can become an astronaut? I can't wait! That's right. 
AstroCorp, secure your place today. Now, with a family plan. Yay! Stay vigilant. This is clearly a trap.
Tonic! Stay in your ground!
Cherish the good times while they last. You won't be... So lucky with the next one. Cop? Are you there? I am. Um... Oh, thank God. How was it? Was that a risk worth taking?
Double cock, your body temperature is very low. Are you okay? I am in the freezer. What is a freezer even doing there? They used it to store Briggs' body. Oh. So that means... He was not the only victim. <sighs> More bodies? That's insane. I'm getting you back up, even if it gets me in trouble. The only person who should expect trouble is Spike. Robocop, all available patrol cars are coming to support you. I've told them to meet you by the old workers' building. According to reports, it's part of their headquarters. And Robocop, I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you can forgive me for the freshman attitude. I was just trying to do my best.
This is Manson. We've cornered the bikers in the mill, but we could use some help. We're at the southeast gate. Acknowledged. On my way. Good, you're here. We're standing our ground. The bikers have retreated to the yard behind that big gate. Now, let's decide on the strike team. I go on my own. No need to risk lives. OCP has supplied us with an ED-209. Maybe you could make use of it. Even if it is just for cover. Robocop, can I have a moment of your time? Can you leave him alone, lady? You caused him enough trouble already. Hey, I just want the people to know what's going on in their city. Can't say she isn't good at what she does. She got here before us. Anyway, it's up to you. If you need a bit of time to speak with her or wrap up anything else around here, it's not a problem. Those bikers aren't going anywhere. But if you're ready to go, Ed 209 is here for your support. Just say the word. I need more time. No worries. We got them boxed in. Hey, just spare me a second. Thank you for coming over. Could you tell the Channel 9 viewers what you're struggling with here today? Are you looking for more footage of me malfunctioning? Don't think poorly of me for recording that. People want to see how their hero's holding up. I am just a police officer. Modesty. A rare feature in this city. I'm not against you. It's the OCP that's my target. You are a troublemaker. At least I do it for the truth. Even if it causes harm to those uninvolved. We are all part of this city, and we shouldn't be afraid to fight or get hurt in the process. We had a rocky start, but it wasn't personal. I'm only here to show the truth before others try to cover it up. Don't you think we owe that to the people of the city? 
I do. The steel mill is the hideout for the street vultures, a gang of bikers who have committed multiple homicides. They have barricaded themselves in the factory's yard along with their leader. We are preparing to go in. Thank you. In that case, I will not hold you any longer, unless there's anything you would like to add. Have you been following my actions? You're kinda hard to miss. But the first time when you truly caught my attention was when you sent Dick Jones to his grave. Up until that point, I didn't know you could act against a senior executive. That was something. Do you consider the entire OCP to be corrupt? Believe me, I really wish someone could change my mind about that rotten den. Who knows? Maybe it can be you. My duty awaits. Of course. Ready to get this cop killer? Their time is up. I am going in. Good luck, Murphy. I'm guessing you're close to catching Spike. Maybe he could lead us to Wendell. If those two struck a secret deal, no wonder Wendell ditched the punks. Anyway, be careful in there. I wouldn't be surprised if that slime had more tricks up his sleeve.
It can't end like this! Murphy, you got the cop killer. <clears throat> you decided to trespass on our turf. And that shit doesn't fly with us. What's that noise? Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. The situation is under control. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Stand back. I'm doing one better, cop. I'm out of here. You now have five seconds to comply for I said three, everything is two, under control. One, Ed, I stand am now there. authorized to use physical force. Here. Ed 209 malfunctioned. Uh, is is he still alive? I am afraid not. OCP sent us a malfunctioning unit. I bet they did that on purpose. And what about the other cop killer? Where did Spike go? Wherever he went, justice will find him. I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. Oh. No. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. But there's so much room in there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir?
Hey, Murphy. She's right here. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Now, I'll leave you two alone. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has the street vultures collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Take the body downstairs. But there's no more room in the morgue. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse thief? What is this world coming to? Lewis, you always find a way to help. Keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. What's her blood pressure? I've got 40 pal. Of course, VFEB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the Ambu bag. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right, no pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody, clear. Stand clear. All right, I think that's all we can do. Let's call it. Most of the time. 615. Robocop, what a surprise. I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you are preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 of them. It's been a blessing in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented brain trauma. I've got to say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Now that I'm looking at you, didn't I work on you? I recognize that jawline. Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. What do you know about the disappearance at the morgue? Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLA. Then, most likely, use the EFS to get down to the M-O-R-G-U-E. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? 
Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late 40s, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't mean that I can't be of help to the police. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. So, let's see how you did. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something to honor him. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in ten minutes. Now back to work! Hey, Murphy. You've been to the hospital, haven't you? How's Lewis? Unconscious, but stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm sure of it. It's time to hold OCP accountable. This can't keep happening. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it, so maybe let's focus on that? Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. See you later in the briefing room. Welcome back, Robo. You have a minute? First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I hesitated back at that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. Fucking right. As I was writing it, I noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? You helped plenty. Uh, still a long way to go. I've been getting to know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at. It's shooting. 
would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Yes, practice makes perfect. Let us not waste any more time. You want to go now? <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. Ah, there's my favorite law enforcement officer. I love the smell of this room. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Can't... No. Right. I took so many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being overeager is one of them. Ah, so that's the actual lesson. Now I get it. Is your service weapon properly prepared? I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. Sure thing. There you go. Is everything okay? Your service weapon is broken. I calibrated it. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. Huh. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. A cop must be ready. Get a different gun. Sure. Thank you, Robo. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. That is resourceful. My thank you. I try very hard to not try at all. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He seems pretty good at pitting people against each other. Maybe I'll find some of his dissatisfied customers who'd be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a... You are not a ronin. Yeah, okay. Just remember, if you need anything, I'm your guy.
again. Why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. What is it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, 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 I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's just that I need to hang Briggs' picture on the memorial wall. It's just... a lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs' photo in the database and print it out. Just make sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. In other news, Mayor Kuzak suffers another humiliation during his mayoral campaign. The hats that he gave away to the homeless citizens of Detroit seem to have another application. They turn into balaclavas that are now commonly used to protect the identity of liquor store robbers. As a result, we've seen an unprecedented spike in crime. They are deliberately making me look like a fool! Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff, so you know, I'm going to take care of the desk, but could you get his belongings from his locker? You can put everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy.
Thanks to Robocop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. At your service. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone from this biker gang. We also know what he's looking for. Yeah, dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow, that's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the whys, but for now we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. They're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. What in the hell? I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out! Look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need, SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. They must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. <laughs> 